hey guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can link one activity to another in Android studio so you can do this process through any layout like constraint linear scroll view anything I've done videos on these layouts so you can watch them the link is in the description and yeah let's jump into it So once you have created a new project and selected the empty activity, then you will uh, this page will open, which will have the constraint layout. Now we have to go from one page to another, right? So first we'll create a button here, button which uh, the width will match parent and height will wrap content, and we'll just give some text for the button. Android text. activity 1 then alt enter ignore hard coded text and now we'll give an id to the button android id at the red plus id slash and we'll write some id btn done now we'll just align this button we'll take it here somewhere and then we'll just kind of resize it take it here fix it on the screen done we have done the first activity now we'll create the second activity we'll right click on layout new activity and empty activity we'll name it activity 2 2 finish now the second activity is created right now we'll go to the XML file of activity 2 here we'll create something like text view okay so I'll just write text view the width will match parent height will wrap content will en enter some text and write text welcome to activity 2 alt enter hard coded text and write text size will be 30 sp android text color will be black done now we'll just align it somewhere and fix it on the screen yeah we'll give the text alignment to center right text alignment center then now the second activity is created now the main part comes when we we are going to link the first main activity to the activity 2 now go to the java file of main activity here we'll import three classes import android dot widget dot button semicolon import android dot content dot intent semicolon import android dot view dot view semicolon done now inside the main activity we'll create the object of the button public button button semicolon and inside this we'll click enter enter and then name of the object button equals to uh, brackets button find view by id r dot id and we'll specify the id that we had given in the main file see here what id did we give btn right so we'll go here we'll specify the id btn and semicolon Next, you will write button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener, and in that we'll just create intent intent equals to new intent, and we'll specify the name of the first activity and then the second activity. Now, the first activity here is main activity, right? So we'll write main activity dot this comma activity 2 
activity two dot class and we'll give the semicolon and then we'll start activity start the activity and in this we'll call the object in intent so done now just run this on the mobile phone I'll show you how it uh, how the activities are linked to th on the mobile phone my AVD is a little slow so I'll just debug it so this is how the application will look on mobile phone so this is the main activity the first activity that we had created now once I click on the button it will go to the second activity so the code we had implemented is successfully running we can go back and forth we can also go back and forth on this so this is how you can link two activities to each other so please leave a like if you find this video useful and I'm coming up with a series of Android tutorials so you can watch it on my channel by subscribing to my channel and share the video with your friends if you find it useful and thank you